here we go seeing my family after two years traveling from the UK to Iran now driving to Isfahan look at that sunrise and the beautiful streets of Isfahan city this no rules Persian New Year was absolutely different the streets people everything it was much better than what it was in the last two years the city was really really crowded really busy but I loved it people were much much happier and it was giving me a better feeling so we've been driving me my sister my cousins we've been driving all over the streets in Isfahan I didn't have time to visit other cities of Iran but make sure that you definitely visit different cities it's worth it now this is only Charbagh a street in Isfahan and then we went to Shah Square Shah Square is definitely one of those places that you have to visit unfortunately as I'm from Isfahan I didn't have time to visit it properly but this cafe is definitely a place that you should go and visit you're going to have a full view from Shah Square from on top of it and that is an absolutely gorgeous view don't miss it after that walking through bazaar and this lovely place which was a museum as well now look at this beautiful mosque and again driving this is Isfahan city center the founder is Mr. Sarami thanks a lot to him and then we went to the flower garden it was actually exploding full of people so as you can see you only see heads people but it was really really nice because it was making me feel really good honestly after two years sounded like people now had the chance to travel the Spahan flower garden is one of those places that if you visit Isfahan you should definitely visit but not when it's too busy like this and there's absolutely gorgeous lake they made it uh, well we didn't really have time to walk around it I usually go but people I was there were not really so friendly and that's my cousins and my sister so I had to just make these videos and then leave quickly they were just shouting come on it's busy let's go but yeah that's what you do see right now it's beautiful isn't it you had to get wet in this Isfahan it's really dry in there Been making this garden in the middle of the desert because Isfahan is a very dry city and look at that cute so we're still walking in flower garden fountains they were all made out of marble and then again keep going palm trees one of my favorites the Japanese garden everyone was so so busy which in a way I didn't even have time but Make sure if you go there, you can tag me on my Instagram and show me if you visit these places. We're still having places to visit. Flower Garden. There we go. That's gorgeous. Oh, this one was a big one, huge one. I loved them. My dad used to take me there. And I was young. I don't really know if the same ones or not. Another fountain. 
and ducks, little ducks. We didn't see any geese actually, but here you walk up there and after you walk from these stairs you're going to have a view from the top. Now this is how it looks from the top. You walk up there and this is the full view. Oh and these were my favourite as well. Look at that colour. Well, we've got some naughty people coming. Wow, there we go. <laughs> and the buildings, the structures and everything in there. This time it was way too different from any other time that I used to visit Flower Garden. Also, they built this place recently in there, which was not there before. So that's a new thing. Let's go and have a look inside. So this is the entrance where you start all those miniature roses, really gorgeous. And the fountain, as you can see, it's super, super busy. So I didn't have time to film it properly. So this is all it came out. And here we go. It was really nice. It's worth really visiting Flower Garden if you visit Isfahan city. After here, we're going to Najwan Park. It's one of the famous parks. Um, we used to be in the countryside around Isfahan. Um, but right now, it's more like, I don't know, different people would go. And now, my mom's cooking. Yep, that's my mom. Actually, these are my sister's hands. So, she's whisking. Potato. We call this food Kalagunjishki. Well, translating it means sparrow's head. I don't really know why they call it this. I will definitely share the story about it. And um, this is my mom. She's always peeling the tomatoes, chopping into pieces, and that's actually how we chop things um, in Iran. Well, my mom. <laughs> You have to be very professional to do it, I think. Back to my sister, and the food was absolutely amazing. I'll put the instructions how to make it. Now, the night, we're going to Char Bark. Again, that's my cousin, she's talking to me. And have another view. These are, well, basically, it's about no rules. As you can see, they made it really beautiful this year. This is Charbaga Street, one of the most famous streets as I said and a really really nice of all the old city town basically in Svahan. You should make sure that you will definitely visit Charbaga Street as well. And after that we're going to have Charbaga School. That's it. one little cute cafe in there that was actually a cafe so oh I loved it back to the streets again Spahan streets a lot, well, more than Tehran at least. And I have no idea why they actually copied a McDonald's and then make it as a supermarket. Creative. That is Jama Mosque in Shah Square, and that's a small view of Shah Square. I didn't really have time to visit uh, all the historical places this time. I used to do it because I was a studied. Uh, tourism management at university but not this time this is inside the bazaar all handicrafts and everything you can find in there so bazaar is always making me feel so good this was a shop I asked them is it okay if I film inside and they said yes 
you saw the name of the shop earlier on I filmed it and this is another shop which I visited and I also asked them is it okay if I film inside and they say yes so you can see all different types of handicrafts in there as well which was really gorgeous they call it Khatam and buildings and buildings inside Bazaar my favorite place to always stay and just look at the buildings paintings everything in there the art is magnificent something that I would never ever get tired of looking filming walking in it it's just it's always just so good another view again wanted to show you how the paintings and everything are more shops and of course one of the most famous handicrafts of others for Han so these alleys were actually really really perfectly built hundreds of years ago so when you walk in there it, it's just like an absolute amazing feeling Khaju Bridge one of the most famous bridges in Isfahan and after that we're walking right on it as you can see it's super super busy it's just nice to have a look see how the building looks now we're heading to the other bridge and that is Chubi bridge it's right in the middle of Haju bridge and Ferdosi bridge and we head we keep walking and walking now that is Sirsapol it was a really nice street. I really didn't have time to film it properly. So sorry if the video cuts off quickly. Yep. Again, more streets. That is again Charbox Street, but as you know, there are two Charbox, one North. And then, well, we say down and up. So this one's the up one. And look at them. Really nice. She was absolutely gorgeous. I asked her if, she, if it's okay to film and she said yes. Look what she's making. These shoes are absolutely artistic and one of my favorite. They didn't have my shoe size, but hopefully I will message them and see if they have my size or not. And this guy as well, making these gorgeous Mexican corn. So they add in salt and pepper and cheese and mushroom and then they mix it together and different type of herbs of course which I don't really know what they were adding but it gives more flavor to it and then some special mayo like a mayonnaise they make to add on to it um, I should actually tag them as well because he was wondering what's my YouTube channel and everything so yeah I need to make sure I will keep in touch with all these guys because I think most of them didn't even know me so yeah, just mix it well and put it in there. It was actually one of the best Mexican corn I've ever had. Oh, I wish I was there again. I really want some right now. Delicious. Yep, there we go. And done. And of course, Juju Kebab. This place is actually my grandma's childhood village. So we visited the village 
We were staying at one of my mum's um, cousins. So the view was really magnificent. I felt I better make a video of it and send it to you. I mean, just upload on my YouTube channel. We were looking for bird's nest in there, but the sun was killing me. It was so gorgeous. Look at that. Yep, that's a bird nest. And then more. The aloes were so gorgeous as well. This water. Walking in here, it was just so relaxing. And now we're heading back. Yep, that's the end. Final videos I've made. And there, uh, well, kind of feeling weird, but nice as well in the sky. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.